Cook again with another video and this time I've got a app review which um, is kind of something which I really use sometimes it's a really cool app it's called flow home yeah it's called flow home it's in closed beta right now it's one of the best home uh, interfaces which I have used um, so it does have a lot of things to do so first of all here is the home page it's really cool you can see that you can actually provide a uh, profile pic here there's the weather information here and there's the date information here and what it does is it does away with the app icons and uh, gives you what's inside of the apps to show you guys what's there what's going on it gives you uh, feeds like this is a Facebook feed this is all Facebook now you can go for a uh, Twitter you have Twitter feeds and it goes on top uh, as you uh, have new notifications so all the notification which come here are also uh, included in the feeds so that's really cool it's a really minimalistic raw uh, home application with a lot of smooth animation i hope you can see the uh, things wiggling around so that's really cool you have that so you can see uh, so yeah you have a lot of features now you can click any of these and then you can go straight to that so you can click this is by someone uh, in my friends group you can actually expand it you can open it up uh, in the Facebook app official app or you can just favorite it or like it this is the like this is the like button you can like it or you can share it here so sharing is pretty uh, simple you can have that you know, like any other thing and if you're done with it you can just swipe it away and it will be done so that is really cool you can have that all that now you can see something's going on here right it's updating so you if you um, do this it will start updating with a little animation here so that's really cool and you have that also uh, now if you swipe to the right side you can have all your apps here so this is kind of like the app drawer so you can have that that's really cool this also has the uh, small wiggle animation which is really neat I really like this one so that's really cool now uh, something which is really awesome about this is that you can see here there's something right this is a shortcut button so you can click it here you, you do have left hand mode also so that's really neat you can click it here and you can assign shortcuts here when you first install this app you don't have any shortcuts installed so you have to do that manually so these are the things which I use from time to time all the time so you can have that um, to add a shortcut you just need to long press you can hide it or you can enable it a shortcut or uninstall also so that's just there you can have that so that is really neat now once you're in the app drawer this thing changes into a search bar so what is uh, the good thing about the search bar is you can just click it there and you can type what you need so it'll open up uh, the uh, closest matches I guess and it will show you guys what are, are available so that is really cool and it gives you a nice um, reach for and this being a large phone you can really reach all of these in um, a single uh, single handedly so that's really neat so you can have that too so that's pretty cool now let me show you guys the settings menu you can click the profile icon and you can select the theme so now themes uh, I'm using material double which is a pretty cool thing uh, it is a lot colorful it's a really cool now you do have two column light which is like this uh, it doesn't have it does away with the colors and stuff like that it gives you a uh, basic thing it also changes the header you can actually have um, custom headers if you need to really cool. now I just got a mess uh, got a notification what will happen is uh, when it's, it's refreshing the notification will come at the start at the first now so the notification has uh, the top priority in this so that's really cool now uh, let's go to themes again now we have single column dark which is this one uh, it is a dark theme with only one single color here so that is available so that's what you need what else do we have vertical double so that's another one you have kind of like the other one but the fonts and all are different so you can uh, actually experiment with whatever works for you so that's really neat and you can have that now borderless is pretty cool actually borderless uh, does away with the header and it just displays everything in one single column so if you are someone who likes that kind of style you can have that too so that's really good now for a custom header you can enable this and select a custom header from here so you can have that so that's really cool now use a custom profile you do you need a profile image you do if you don't need it just leave it 
but if you really like having a custom profile you can have that too so you need to choose your custom profile i'm right now going to choose this uh, yeah this is my cat yeah you can have that so it's now the custom profile so that's really cool so you can have that now uh, transparent system board that's something which i really appreciate you can actually it, it is actually default uh, it's actually disabled by default so you will have black bars here and here so you can have uh, transparent ones if you really want uh, the full immersed experience you can see it's a Im really great experience it's really cool you can have that uh, what else do we have now temperature units you can select insulations or Fahrenheit so you uh, depending on the region you live in you can have that left hand layout now this is what I was telling about the home button will change to this one so let's see um so in the left hand layout this is the shortcut and um uh, yeah this will this is still the app drawer so you can have that but the search button is right now here so you can have that too so that's really cool um show hidden apps actually the apps you hide with that uh with the long press option you can actually show them by this one only and there is an option for wi-fi only updates uh if you are in wi-fi only then only it will update so that's why it was not updating my phone was not updating i had this on now when you first install it actually um, gives you a startup process which is this one you have to log in to all of these for whatever you need so notification permission uh, you have to enable these notification for permission so that uh, you can actually use the notification on your um, screen so that is there now you can also select the update frequency every how how much only pull to refresh also you can have that and every 15 minutes also you can you do have a lot of options now after you have logged in if you need to um, uh, get out of something you don't you don't really need to log out of it you can just disable those and uh, those notifications will not be updated so i'm not using tumblr i'm not i'm just going to turn it off you have instagram and this is for reporting crash to the uh, flow home developers now flow home is still in the beta phase right now i think it is in the 14 beta uh, which is uh, kind of pretty pretty big deal because um, it's been there for a long while it's working and it's just awesome um, the only problem I had a few times is that the update problem it does persist uh, also this uh, this um, profile pic here profile pic is not what is uh, the person the uh, sometimes it gets mixed up the profile pic is of someone else and the uh, messages for someone else so it does get mi missed up uh, but it's nothing to worry about it just works so that's really cool now um, I've already shown you guys what all you can do you can also retweet on the tweet Twitter uh, links you can have the retweet retweet also and uh, yeah in the uh, Instagram links you can actually see the picture you can see the um, comments on it you can actually open it or you can favorite it so that's neat that's really neat now uh, you have the weather icon here you can actually assign a shortcut choose weather shortcut I'm going I'm normally using uh, Yahoo weather which is really neat for me so I really use that so you can have that also pretty cool uh, also the calendar app uh, it is actually right now I already have it attached with the calendar app Google Calendar so you can have that also so now I guess that much is it about the flow home it's a really cool um, app which is available for Android right now it is in closed beta but uh, having an access code is not very difficult you just need to go to their Twitter feed and just wait for it you just need to follow them they will send you guys a um, code access code so it's available so yeah I guess that much is it about the app now if you, um, please like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye